Hello everyone, um, this is Ankur from Top Talk Store. Um, just a quick video to give you an idea about what all this is. This is our professional machine. Sorry about the mess, just, just don't pay attention. <laughs> it's been a very, very busy few days. It's a quick video to showcase exactly what you get in your professional machine and a few details about the machine, how to use it and operate it in the field. Now, this machine comes with two remotes. One is the long range, it has a button. Up is on, down is off. Same way, this is medium range, A and B. A button in both works as toggle. You press, it will run, you release, it will stop. B is continuous once you press it machine will be running continuously you press it again it will stop that's 300 meter line lure and i'll explain it to you why there's a bit of red thread over here this is yellow is 300 meter that's the lure toy it has a squeaky in the tail and at the head side of it so you can Take it off if you don't want it. This is a wee box that contains pegs, antenna, and few extra fuse. This is the charger. Please use this charger only because it is specific to the batteries being used in the machine. So it will help in extending the life of the battery this is another ribbon lure and this is your guide pulley now this is optional some customers have asked for it so they are getting it and thus this is the disc that's, that you can screw up onto this right to the brim of the nut and once it goes into the ground this will sit flush on the ground and keep the pulley above the ground that's your guide peg and I'm just gonna spin the machine and show you exactly what we have on the other side I'm holding the phone in my hand and I'm trying to do this at half 11 in the night. So, that's your on and off button. So, that's battery is fully charged at the minute. That's your speed controller. Once the switch is on and you press the remote, this will work. The motor will spin. I'll show you very quick. I'm not going to do that now because it's too late. Now a quick one, when you start the machine, the battery, full charged battery will show you a voltage of 25.6 and 25.7 around that. It's a 24 volt system. Now, please do not let this battery voltage drop down below 23.9. 23.9 is the cutoff you want to define. That means the battery is 30% left after that. If you go beyond that and consume any more, it will drop down drastically and affect the cells in this battery. And it can go to that extent where it might not be able to recover itself when you put it on charging. This is the just property of lead acid batteries which are being used. You can charge it every day after every use, doesn't matter if it is 80%, 50%, 65%, you can still charge it every day. In fact, these batteries like to be charged as frequent, as often as you can. I will share a wee chart which shows what percentage, what voltage over here indicates how much percentage the battery is left. This colorful 
light you can see green orange and red now they indicate the ampere the current that goes up and down based on the usage of the machine it's a heavy 360 watt motor which is being used in this one so it can fluctuate do not consider this as the battery percentage it might still stay green and this might drop to 24 so don't pay attention to the light because this is based on current completely for the batteries you want to focus on the voltage a quick one here now spin it that's our exhaust fan to keep the machine cool it is blowing the hot air out this is a battery port oh, sorry um charging port you can plug the charger in and you can put the dust cover and it's not in use this is the antenna so you can thread it it's a high gain antenna that will give you very good range so you can tilt it or rotate it it's no problem it's already fixed onto the machine We'll take it out, put it back in. So this box you can always carry with yourself when you go for the training into the um, to the gallop. That's a quick video about the machine. Now, when you charge the machine, the charger will be red when it's charging the battery. Once the battery is fully charged. It will turn out to be green. The green light will switch on. That time you want to switch it off and unplug the charger. Do not leave the charger plugged at the back of the machine here because because of the reverse it could drain the battery. It doesn't drain too off too too drastically, but it, it does current flows outwards. So you want to plug it out. Um that's all um all the things all the items you have seen the chargers the charger the remotes v box lower fully the stake everything all these items come in one box all of will be all of these will be coming in this box so Please make sure whenever you use the machine, nothing is left inside the box, nothing loose. Because it's electrical, it's circuits, there are wires, there's rotational, uh, there's a machine, uh, there's a motor rotating, which is exposed at the back because of its exhaust. So please do not leave anything inside it. You can, you can open it like this and put your stuff in. There's a dedicated fuse box inside, so if a fuse blows due to any reason, sudden, sudden surge in the power or lower gets stuck and motor is trying to pull it hard, it will blow the fuse. It will save the circuit, it will save all your components, speed controller, wireless module, motor, it will save everything. That's the reason we are using the uh, fuse box here. Now, one more thing I would like to say, you can see there are a few nuts and bolts being used around this machine to fix all the components. As a routine maintenance, try and make sure these all are nice and tight because the machine is very compact and the rotational speed can go up to 8 to 12,000 RPM. Due to vibrations, these could come loose. They're tight, they're very, very good nice and stuck but as we like to maintain our our equipment and machines just like you look after your tires your wheels make sure the nuts are nice and tight same way you just make sure that these v bolts and nuts are tight and over here most important one is these ones they take allen key 2.5 mil 
So make sure these are nice and tight. That's all folks. So this is your peg. You can get through the peg. Sorry about this video going upside down. I'm trying to hold the camera and do the same time. Um, that's all for my side. And if you guys have any questions, any any um, thing you want to know about the machine, how to operate it, and if you get into any sort of trouble, God forbid, just give me a buzz and we'll get you sorted. Thank you very much for your time and I hope this gentleman is going to be very chuffed when he receives the machine. Which is leaving tomorrow morning. I'm going to do the packing now and you should have it in a day. Most of our deliveries in the Republic of Ireland is maximum one to two working days and in the UK is two to three days. Thank you very much for your time and good night.